That fish will go probably over four pounds. I mean, it's hard now to judge weight because I've got so many fish from four to six pounds. So there's my distance from my lead. There's my weight right there. I'm up about uh, 14 inches and look at how well that hook, this is called a spin shot hook. You can see it right there. It's unique because the hook is on a swivel. If you can see that swivel that's right there. So when you tie two pieces of line, your main line and then your tag line, um, on either end of those eyes, the hook um, faces upwards. So you see the way you get a great hook set. That hook is right through the top of the fish. That's a nice bass. Let me get him back in. And you're gonna see, you can see that bottom, how clear the water is. I'm gonna try to extend him out and hold him there for a split second. He wants to go. Look it. Come on, go down. It's nice to see him swim off like that. I'm telling you, this water is so clear. I can't imagine snorkeling here. The water temperature is about 65 degrees, so it's not really swimming temperature. But there's that drop shot rig. So all I'm using is a 3 ounce bell sinker at one end. And I look at it almost as a disposable sinker. If I get stuck on bottom, that's what should get caught because the hook is up about um, 16 inches. And this is what I'm using right here. These are these uh, minnows, they're called minnows. I call them a finesse minnow. And this particular one is four and a half inches in length. The package will tell you, if you look on the package, you can see that it has the size, sorry, they're five inches in length. I thought it was four and a half. But they're a very natural color. So you can see they've got like a pearl with a green back. Um, you can fish them if you're fishing in shallow water and probably here too, just with a worm hook, about a number five worm hook, and then put the worm hook right here on the bottom and coming up through the top. But all I'm doing is taking that hook, placing it about a quarter of an inch in on the minnow and putting it through so the minnow sits upright. So you can, that's what it looks like right there going through the water. Now watch the action when I put it in the water. I'm not gonna put it right down on the bottom, but even if I just hold it just below the surface, and I shake it, I mean, it looks like a real minnow. 